Hi everybody, welcome to Tech Cross Talks channel. Today I present you a new episode. Specifically, I will give you five strong biotech stocks for 2021. So these biotech stocks have very strong momentum and they have good growth as well. So I think it definitely pays to watch that video with me until the end and have a look at all of these stocks. So before I start right off with the first strong biotech stock, I have to make a short disclaimer. This video does not constitute financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. So please consider that. And also one more quick note. Please subscribe now to my channel with a link in the description below so that going forward you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. Okay, so that was it for the intro. So let's start right off with the first strong biotech stock for 2021. And as you can see it in the charts, it is NVAX, Novavax. Here you can see the longer term chart of Novavax. And as you can see, Novavax was in a long term downtrend from, let's say, 2015, August until around January 2020, where it made its low. And it reversed from that January 2020 low, traded to the upside strongly and formed a nice and new strong uptrend. In the short term chart, we see that uptrend in Novavax, that strong uptrend. And we can see as well, since let's say around August 2020, we have been consolidating and correcting in Novavax. And it looks like we are building a base here in Novavax. And yeah. Currently, we are tightening up in Novavax, and I think soon we could break out here in Novavax and continue with that very strong momentum. I mean, when you look at that momentum, that 2020 momentum, I mean, we started at around $4 and we traded just to $180, nearly $180. If you look at that, I mean, that's uh, more than 40 times move in, yeah, in quite a, in just a, a little bit more than half a year. It's a way strong momentum move and after such a strong momentum move, a stronger correction is um, more than likely. And that is what we saw here. And now we are tightening up and I think soon we could break out here and continue with that strong momentum in Novavax. When we look at the growth characteristics for Novavax, the EPS growth is very strong with 126%. The sales growth is also super strong with 3,561%. And the relative strength rating is excellent with 99. So I think Novavax is definitely a super strong biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that was it for Novavax. Now let's have a look at the next strong biotech stock for 2021. And it is... TWST, Twist Bioscience. Here you can see the longer term chart of Twist Bioscience. As, as you can see, Twist was a recent IPO in October 2018. And uh, one quick note. So why do I always look for the IPO days of the stocks? Because in their first 10 years after the IPOs, the stocks make their strongest performances or make 95% of their super performance is happening in their first 10 years after their IPOs. So it definitely pays if you watch out for young growth companies or market leading companies, young companies with strong growth, strong momentum going on. These could be multi, multi baggers with very strong performances. So have always look, have always a lookout for young, innovative and disruptive stocks. Okay, so after its IPO twist, moved ahead a sideways movement here, or a base building phase, a longer term base building phase. And in May 2020, we could break out of that sideways base and form a nice and very strong uptrend in twist. The short term chart, you see that uptrend here, and you can see as well here quite nicely, we bounce off the 50 day moving average. Here we bounce again off the 50 day moving average. Here we bounce of the 20 day moving average. Here we bounce um, of the 30 day moving average quite nicely. And recently 
we accelerated to the upside in twist bioscience and we look at the growth characteristics for twist the ps growth is not the strongest it's minus 35 percent but the sales growth is very strong with 81 percent and the relative strength rating is also way good with 98 and twist as said is in a hot sector in the biotech and medical diagnostic space so I think uh, Twist Bioscience is definitely a very strong biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that was it for Twist. Now let's have a look at the next strong biotech stock. And it is ARCT, Arcturus Therapeutics. Here you can see the longer term chart of Arcturus and as you can see we had for quite some years a sideways movement in Arcturus and let's say March 2020 could break out from that sideways movement and form a nice new uptrend in Arcturus and when we look in the short term chart yeah we see here we had a sideways movement um, in 2020 or base building phase and we broke out of that base traded to the upside but now we are Again, we are correcting in Arcturus. When we look at the growth characteristics for Arcturus, the EPS growth is very strong with 375%, but the sales growth is sluggish with minus 53%. But when we look at the relative strength rating, it's still strong with 96. So I think Arcturus is also a good biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that was it for Arcturus. Now let's have a look at the next strong biotech stock for 2021. And it is mRNA, Moderna. Here you can see the longer term chart of Moderna. And as you can see, Moderna has been a recent IPO in December 2018. After its IPO, it formed the nice IPO base here could break out from that IPO base in March 2020 and trade strongly to the upside and form a nice and new uptrend. In the short term chart we see here a base building phase, a recent base building phase and we see as well we could break out from that base November 11th and trade strongly to the upside here. And one quick note, if you followed my channel, I have been covering Moderna multiple times in November. And um, I had it also, for instance, in my tag momentum stock strategy, and I'm heavily up in Moderna. And this was a way strong trade here. I mean, we traded from around 76 quickly to 176. So, I mean, that was more than a 100 percentage move in a couple of days. So... If you haven't subscribed yet to my channel, subscribe now and have a look at my Tech Momentum Stocks strategy from time to time and my other strategies. I think that will definitely pay off. Yeah, and then we moved so strongly in Moderna and that was maybe too strong. So we came back, we corrected the Moderna, but now it looks like we found a bottom here. And I think soon we could trade to the upside again in Moderna because I think with, with its strong vaccine and with its vaccine rollout and it will have excellent profits this year and it can bank on that and it will have plenty of cash which it can use for new investments in the mRNA technology space. So I think it will be a future leader for vaccines and um, for the therapies, um, for innovative therapies. So oh, I think it definitely, it's definitely an interesting stock to consider for the moment, I think. Okay, so when we look at the growth characteristics, Morana is looking strong as well. The EPS growth is not the strongest, it's 18%, but the sales growth is super strong with 617%, and the relative strength rating is excellent as well with 97%. So I think with these characteristics, Moderna is definitely a way strong biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so that, that was it for Moderna. Now we come to the last biotech stock for 2021, for today. And it is NTLA, Intelia 
that were pointed. Here you can see the long term chart of Intelia, and as you can see, it have been in a quite, uh, let's say, from 2019 to 2020, we have been moving sideways in Intelia, and then, uh, yeah, and recently, let's say, um, May 2020, we broke out of that sideways movement and formed a nice and new uptrend in Intelia. The short term chart you see a sideways movement here, and recently we broke out of that sideways movement um, in November 4th and traded strongly to the upside in Intelia since then. And you can see as well here we bounced quite nicely of the 20 day moving average, and now it looks like that we could bounce again from the 20 day moving average. So I think at this level Intelia is looking excellent from a technical standpoint. Yeah. When we look at the growth characteristics for Intelia, uh, the EPS growth is 2% and the sales growth is very strong with 78% and the relative strength rating is also way good with 96. So I think Intelia is also a way strong biotech stock for 2021. Okay, so these were the biotech stocks for 2021 for today. I hope in that video are some nice stocks for you, which you can use for your research. And also please subscribe now to my channel with a link in the description below, so that going forward, you do not miss any market leading stocks from me. So please subscribe now. And yeah, I think this year will be an excellent stock trading and stock investing year with all that fiscal and monetary stimulus going on around the world from all of these central banks and governments. So I think this will be an excellent year. So I think it definitely pays to um, do your research and to have a look at many strong stocks. And what I do here is cover the best stocks in the market, the market leading stocks from a tech momentum perspective or tech IPO stocks I have this series as well and internet stocks and all of these strong stocks, I cover them all. So have a look at on my channel from time to time. I think it will definitely pay for this year and I, there will be excellent stocks. So I hope to see you again soon and I wish you good luck in trading. Cheers.